Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna finish up the goat's milking stand and uh, hopefully we get through. Uh, if it don't rain, and if I've got another day, so I don't get it done today, I'm gonna get it done tomorrow and be the time you see it on Friday's video. So hopefully we can get it all done the next day or two and uh, get the video out. Uh, before we get started, hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. Uh, if you hit that subscribe, you get notifications every time I post a video and it helps us go out through the YouTube world. So I appreciate everybody that subscribes. So we're gonna get started. If you remember in the last episode, uh, I got the frame built and the legs and I had a little trouble with the legs to sign on the height. So we got it now. The legs are 26 inches high. If I need to cut down some more, I will, so. So now I'm gonna make the stanchions and I need two two by fours that are 30 in, 36 inches long and I'm gonna cut those and I'll show you how I'm gonna screw those on there. Planes, trains, and automobiles today. Now, if you remember, I notched this one leg, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do right here, because I'm gonna put a screw right here into the leg, and that's gonna make this a lot stronger. All right, let me get the other side. So I've cut these, uh, cut these 36, and I put a mark on them at six, so that'll give me 30 inches sticking up. You know, I hit that right on another screw. Okay, my next move is to make the head gate part. So what I'm gonna do, I'll put a couple boards here and I'll show you, and I'll put another board here. Anyway, the thing is the goat's gonna come in, stick his head, stick her head through the head gate 
to eat and then we'll close it up that way she can't back out when she gets uh, through eating. So I need two of them. 24 inches. So now I need uh, to cut it. Let's cut it 38 inches. This is gonna go up in here and uh, I gotta cut this first so. Okay, I'm gonna go get my table saw cause it'd make it a little easier so I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did, I took a two before and I ripped it down to uh, inch and a half by inch and a half. And then I put a little block on the top and you'll see, that gives me my spacer when I close it. You'll see that here in a second. So I'm gonna put the first one in. And uh, it's going to be stationary, but let me get my measurements here. I've got to do that. So. So there's the center. So the first one should be nine inches. And the first one, like I said, we're gonna, we're going to uh, harden that lid down. So I got it there. The other one, it'll pivot in theory. So, we get a hammer, I'll be right back. So, theoretically, 
theoretically it should be nine inches too this way. Now that's on the money there. So I'm just gonna put one screw on the bottom for a pivot. So it's going to be open and we'll put another board here and I'll have a food thing here. I have a food thing here. So the goat will come through, start eating. We close that and I'm going to put a pin here and the goat can't get his head out. So anyway, that's my plan. I like it. A little stiff. I wonder if I, can, I might need to put a little beeswax or something in there to kind of lubricate that. All right, so let's put our uh, thing up here. Now this board will be to hold the uh, food thing. Yep, that be just so. I did make this one slightly higher so you'd have something to grab onto. All right, so let me get my little thing and we'll get that figured out. Well, hope I don't, yeah, it should be all right. All right, so I cut some shims and uh, you'll see why in just a minute. I'm gonna put these right behind here and leave a little space so that little lip will go over that. So let me get my screw started here.
So I hope I got enough there. Oh yeah, look at that. There's money. I put a couple screws in there. And you see why I put the spacing in? Because this has a little lip that's made to go over it too before. Like if you like, I got these down at the barn. You can put them down in there and put your feet or water or whatever. Get a couple screws and stick in that. Oh, damn it. Wrong size. Look at that. Basically all I have left now is the decking and uh, basically what I've got is some uh, one inch fence panels and uh, that was the cheapest thing I could find to put down here and uh, should be two foot. And plus they got kind of a rough texture to them and I think that might be of a I think that might give the goats a little traction while they're up standing up there. I'm just going to tack these down and I'll come back and screw them down hard. Alright. That's going to work out nice. Okay, it's the uh, next day. Obviously, it's the uh, weather has really changed for the cold, but if you remember right, I got the first one not screwed down. It's uh, come two foot long. And these are just uh, uh, fencing panels at Home Depot. I think there's like three bucks. I got all the numbers right now. I think it's. I think these are five eighths by six by eight. So I just cut them two foot long. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw these down. And uh, I had to get a scrap piece for the end. It lasts about that much. So keep that in mind. You might want to get three six footers. So. Get these screwed down. Get on with it. Now I'm not spacing these. I'm sure some people will say you need to put like a little nail or something, leave it a little crack, and uh, you can do that. There's nothing wrong with that. I just don't like to because after this wood dries out, it's going to leave a crack anyway. So if you leave a crack, it's just going to be a, a bigger one. I'm just pretty much tacking these. I'll come back and I don't know if I have enough of these little screws to do it all. So I'm just going to put one in each end. And uh... So I got that screwed down and like I said, I'll come back uh, after I get through filming and put the other screws in. Now I got to put some, uh... I ain't got to, but I'm going to put some dangle braces on this because this is probably going to be one of the stress points. I mean, it's already pretty solid. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Just, just. Be quick.
Next thing I gotta do is uh, somehow make a uh, pinning device. So I picked up a, uh, a uh, gosh, what do you call this? A hitch pin at Tractor Supply. And I think it's six by half. So I'm just gonna drill. I'm actually gonna drill through this piece here and you'll see it when I drill it here. And it's a half inch hitch pin. I'm gonna drill a half inch hole. But I don't have a 916, so let's just see what it does. Ain't good if I drilled it straight, but. All right, let's see what it does here. What do you mean, just. Look at that, I like it. And uh, I'll get a string and tie on here where it hangs down where we won't lose it. So push it right in there. I like it. Let me just ream that out just a little bit on the back side here. There you go. That's the ticket there. I like it. All right, this is it. Uh, let's talk how much it cost. All right, I mean, it feels good. If it hold me, it'll hold a go, right? I could dance on this thing. So, uh, I can't get my thing. I got about four two by four by eights, and they cost me $15. I bought two two by four by six pressure treated, and they cost me 736. Now, one caveat to that is, uh, when I priced the two by four by eight pressure trees, I looked at the wrong ones. They have two different grades. So I looked at the premium. If I looked a little bit farther where they just had the regular grade, it been, I would've got the two by four by eight. So keep that in mind, that way you could've had a little extra for bracing and stuff. Let's see. I bought two five eights by six by eight fencing boards. And of course I had to put a scrap, I had a scrap one I had to use on it. Cost me seven ninety four. Uh eleven dollars in screws. Holy cow, that's like twenty five percent of the budget. This feed pen I got a tractor supply for ten bucks. And the pen I got a tractor supply for five bucks. So my total is fifty six thirty. So it's not too bad. Once you consider if you go buy even a homemade one that you buy from somebody that uh build one I seen one other day made out of pallets is 150 bucks so fifty six dollars for this and it took me approximately an hour and a half by myself and if you had somebody hip you I think it'd go a lot quicker but nobody wants to be on video with my family you know that for years they said start a YouTube start a YouTube so I finally started YouTube and they want to put the ugliest person in the family on on film I don't know why but anyway I got all this done and uh, I'm real happy with it like I said, I'm going to go back and screw this some more, but I'm going to end the video here. And if you have any questions, you can shoot me an email. I'll send you the plans for this. It's basically two by four, two foot wide, four foot long. I've got it right now at 28 inches high. So I might have to cut that down some more. I don't know. And this, this I'm real happy with. This little head staunching. So uh, I might need to put that on the back side because I don't want to go to hurt it. But anyway, uh, probably this weekend I'll be start training. Uh, 
our two does to get up here and we'll see if they can get up here and if not I'll come down but I'll film all that so and I'll show you how they do but I'll film it and we'll see how they do and I hope everything I hope they do all right you know so far they've been really good goats so I guess this will be a big test you know they're, one of them's kind of a little bit skittish so if I can get them up here put the, get the food in here I think they'll go so anyway I'm gonna do a 360 of this thing you can see it and uh, we'll come back closer out So I hope you liked the video. Uh, shoot me some, if you have any questions about it, you see something I didn't do that you don't like or something, you can leave a comment, send me an email. I even got snail mail down there now. You can write me a letter and I'll write you back. So anyway, hope this was a good one. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I need all the subscribers I can get. And I appreciate every one of you. Have a good day. Give us a thumbs up. Support your local farmer. We'll see you down here in the farm in the next video.